सॉल्व थर्टी फाइव एक्स क्यूब माइनस फोर्टी एट एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस वन सिक्सटी वन एक्स माइनस थर्टी इक्वल टू जीरो हियर दे टोल्ड एस टू सॉल्व विच मीन्स वी शुड गेट द वैल्यूज ऑफ एक्स फॉर दैट हियर वी हैव टू चेंज द एक्स टर्म वॉट आई मीन इज सी थर्टी फाइव एक्स क्यूब माइनस फोर्टी एट एक्स स्क्वायर इन प्लेस ऑफ माइनस वन सिक्सटी वन एक्स नाव आई राइट माइनस इलेवन एक्स माइनस वन फिफ्टी एक्स माइनस थर्टी इक्वल टू जीरो डिड यू अंडरस्टैंड इन प्लेस ऑफ माइनस वन सिक्सटी वन एक्स नाव आई हैव रिटर्न माइनस इलेवन एक्स माइनस वन फिफ्टी एक्स दैट्स इट नेक्स्ट वॉट कैन बी टेकन आउट कॉमन फ्रॉम दीज थ्री टर्म्स इज एक्स सो हियर यू गेट थर्टी फाइव एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस फ्रॉम दिस एक्स आउट यू गेट फोर्टी एट एक्स माइनस फ्रॉम दिस एक्स आउट यू गेट इलेवन इन द सेम वे वॉट कैन बी टेकन आउट कॉमन फ्रॉम दीज टू टर्म्स is minus 30 so here you get 5x and here you get plus 1 equal to 0 now in this equation we have come across quadratic so i will factorize the quadratic here that is 35x square minus 48x Minus eleven. To factorize this, we should split the middle term. Minus forty-eight x. So in place of minus forty-eight x, now I write minus fifty-five x plus seven x minus eleven. I am not doing factorization steps. Directly I have split. Minus forty-eight x to Minus fifty five x plus seven x. Okay, next. What can be taken out common from these two terms is five x. So here you get seven x minus from this five x out you get eleven. Now whatever you got here here also you should get the same thing. From this seven x gone inside so outside you get plus one. Even if you multiply and check, still you get the same thing. Now take out seven x minus eleven common. So here you have five x, and here plus one. Now, in place of this quadratic, we should write this. I repeat. In place of this quadratic, now I will write this. So this equation will change to x times seven x minus eleven, five x plus one. Over here, no change. Equal to zero. Now. From this entire equation, what can be taken out common is five x plus one. So five x plus one outside. Over here we are left with these two. That is x times seven x minus eleven, and over here we are left with minus thirty equal to zero. Now five x plus one. Now here you open up the brackets in this way. You get seven x square minus eleven x minus thirty equal to zero. Now we got quadratic. I will factorize the quadratic here. That is seven x square minus eleven x minus thirty. To factorize this, we should split the middle term. Minus 11x. So in place of minus 11x, now I write minus 21x plus 10x minus 30. I am not doing factorization steps. 
directly I have split minus 11x to minus 21x plus 10x. Okay, next. What can be taken out common from these two terms is 7x. So here you get x minus from this 7x out you get 3. Now whatever you got here, here also you should get the same thing. From this x has gone inside, so outside you get plus 10. Even if you multiply and check, still you get the same thing. Now take out x minus 3 common. So here you have 7x and here plus 10. Now in place of this quadratic, we should write this. I repeat. In place of this quadratic, now I will write this. So this equation will change to 5x plus 1, x minus 3, 7x plus 10 equal to 0. More. They told us to solve which means we should get the values of x and over here we got product of brackets equal to 0. So to get x values we should equate each bracket to 0. That is 5x plus 1 equal to 0, x minus 3 equal to 0, 7x plus 10 equal to 0. Now to get x value from here, I should remove plus 1, so subtract 1. You get 5x equal to minus 1. Now you should remove 5, so divide by 5. You get x equal to minus 1 by 5. Now here you should remove minus 3, so add 3. You get x equal to 3. Now here you should remove plus 10, so subtract 10 you get 7x equal to minus 10. Now you should remove 7, so divide by 7. You get x equal to minus 10 by 7. So the x values that we got are minus 1 by 5, 3 and minus 10 by 7. This is our answer. Am I clear?